Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun puzzle that I came across. We have two different weighing scales with weights on each scale. The challenge is to figure out the weight of the green circle. I came across this problem because it was supposedly in a workbook of Singapore maths for eight-year-old students. And this seems incredibly hard for eight-year-old students. In fact, I bet it would baffle many adults. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So imagine you were completely stuck and you didn't even know where to start on this question. You might try asking a teacher. You might try asking a tutor. You might try asking a friend. You might try posting online, but in some situations, it might be late at night, you might not be able to get a hold of anyone, or people might make fun of you because you don't know how to start this question. So what do you do? AI tools come to the rescue, sort of. One thing I just learned is you can actually submit an image of the problem and tell an AI tool, please solve this question. So I submitted this exact question to Google Gemini to see what it would say. To my surprise, it actually gave some useful information. The image you sent is a Singapore math word problem from a grade two exercise book. It shows a balance scale with two pans. There are weights on the left pan and nothing on the right pan. The question asks for the mass of the object labeled O based on the masses of the other weights. So the AI tool did provide some useful information that it was a Singapore math word problem and it was from a grade two exercise book. So you would know the age range and the kind of tools you would need to solve this problem. Unfortunately, that's where the helpful information stopped. It didn't scrape the correct data from the image. It got the wrong weights, the wrong masses, everything about it was wrong. So naturally it wasn't going to be able to solve the problem. It just said it's impossible. However, Google Gemini is just one tool. I posed this problem to ChatGPT and I actually got a little bit more information. To solve this problem, we need to find the mass of the circular object denoted as O using the information from the two weighing scales. First, let's denote the mass of the square block as S, the mass of the circular object as O. So far, so good. It then says from the left scale, you have the equation 3S plus 2O is equal to 15 kilograms. The scale is not showing 15 kilograms and it also confuses which objects are which. On the right scale, we get the equation S plus O is equal to five kilograms. This is close to being correct, but the scale is not showing exactly five kilograms. So while this tool did not give us the correct equations, it actually did give you the correct structure you need to solve the problem. So this would be useful for someone who has no idea how to start. So there's great promise in these AI tools to give you a structure so that you can solve the problem. So let's reset and figure out the answer. The first thing to do is to look at each of the scales and try to figure out the exact values that the arrows are pointing to. The arrows are not directly pointing to a number, so we have to figure out the value of each of these tick marks. So let's take a look at the scale that goes to five kilograms. We can count there are 10 different check marks between zero kilograms and five kilograms. So five kilograms is equal to 10 marks. If we divide both sides of the equation by five, we get that one kilogram is equal to two marks. Now let's take a look at the arrow on the left scale. The arrow is pointed two marks short of 15 kilograms. Two marks is equal to one kilogram. So we take 15 kilograms minus one kilogram to get the arrow is pointing to 14 kilograms. Now let's figure out the value for the arrow on the right scale. The arrow is pointing two marks ahead of the five kilogram mark level. So this will be one kilogram more than five kilograms, which is equal to six kilograms. So with this information, my first instinct was to solve the problem algebraically. Let the weight of a single square be equal to S. So we have two squares on the left. Then let the weight of a single circle be equal to C. We have three circles on the left scale. 
On the other scale, we have one square and we have one circle. So we can set up equations for each scale. On the left scale, we have s plus s plus c plus c plus c is equal to 14. This is equivalently written as 2s plus 3c is equal to 14. On the right scale, we have s plus c is equal to 6. There are many ways to go about solving this system of equations, but one way is to solve for one variable and substitute. So in the equation s plus c is equal to 6, let's solve for s. We get that s is equal to 6 minus c. Let's now focus on these two equations. We can substitute s is equal to 6 minus c into the first equation. So we have 2 multiplied by the quantity 6 minus c plus 3c is equal to 14. Focus on this equation. We want to distribute the 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 6, which equals 12, and then 2 multiplied by negative c, which equals minus 2c. So we have 12 minus 2c plus 3c is equal to 14. Minus 2c plus 3c is equal to c. This gives the equation 12 plus c is equal to 14. Subtracting 12 from both sides, we get c is equal to 2. Therefore, the weight of a single circle is equal to 2 kilograms. And that's the answer. This algebraic method does get to the correct answer, but I felt it would be too challenging for eight-year-olds. They wouldn't have learned all of these methods. So how were they supposed to solve the problem? I thought about it for a while and I came up with this alternate solution and this is probably the way it was intended for them to solve it. Take a look at the scale on the right. It has one square and one circle. Imagine adding one more square and one more circle. This would double the weight that's on the scale. So the scale is showing six kilograms, so we need to add another six kilograms because we know that one square and one circle together will be six kilograms. So this will be 12 kilograms and the scale will show 12 kilograms. Now compare the two scales. The scale on the left has two squares and the scale on the right has two squares. So those two weights would cancel out. The scale on the left has three circles and the scale on the right has only two circles. So the only difference in weight will be attributable to the weight of one circle. In other words, in order to get to the weight of 14 kilograms on the left, we would need to add one circle to the scale on the right. This means the weight of a single circle is equal to 14 minus 12 and therefore the weight of a single circle is equal to 2 kilograms. And that's the answer! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.